Today is the day. After months, two months of working on this truck nearly every single day after this video, it's gonna be completely done in terms of what I have to do. We still have to send it to a shop to have the headers made and for it to get wired up because neither of those things I want to do myself. But 99% of the stuff that I have to do, it's all done. I'll have to tidy some things up later, but it's all done. We've got our uh, coolant hoses for our stock Lexus, which will hopefully fit. We have our slave cylinder for 240SX. So we're gonna assemble the cooling system, put that all together, put the transmission into the truck, build a transmission mount, and put the taillights in, and then we're done. I wanted to do a cool intro for this video, but I'm just so excited, I wanna get to work, and I'm also hungry and I wanna go get lunch, so I gotta finish some things before I go get lunch. I'm gonna start off by uh, working on these taillights. I only got new lenses, so we have to uh, keep the housings, so we're gonna repaint these housings, make them look nice and pretty. First step would be to uh, take the tape off. It's a great tail of tail light we got here. Oh, ooh, this thing is broken. So I have to fix this and paint it on both of them. Let's install this radiator. I got both of the coolant hoses to more or less fit. This one needs to be trimmed up on both sides a little bit more. And this one, I have to get a piece of aluminum and like cut a section of the center out. Either way, those hoses will definitely work. So that's all good. Radiator is mounted in there. Heck yeah. Transmission bolts still aren't here, adapter plate bolts. Let's just go ahead and get some work done on some of the other smaller things. If swallowed, immediately give one or two glasses of water and call a physician. I feel like that. Sure. Oh wow, it's a lot liquidier than I thought. Holy shit. I think it fixed it. All right, after a little bit of sanding, ready for paint. All right, how does this go together? So much better. Holy cow. <laughs> Can't really see it because it's behind the uh, strut tower, but I bolted up this new vacuum tube that was on the old engine, but it wasn't on this new engine. And that will allow us to run a hose from this vacuum tube, which goes into the, uh, the intake manifold straight to the uh, brake booster instead of using the silver crossover thing. So I'll get a, a line, run it to the brake booster, and then get rid of that thing. I'm gonna wrap around. Ah, looks actually much better about that there. Fuel line is finished. New fitting into the fuel rail. If one of these freaking fuel line fittings leaks, I'm gonna be really salty. For one, it's gonna start a fire and I'll have to use a fire extinguisher. Secondly, I literally just, well, it's this thumb. I literally just gave myself a blister because it was so hard to press that freaking fitting on. Like, it can't leak. Right? If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to do AN lines, which is gonna be like a thousand bucks, which would really suck. So this better work. 
You wanna keep a very, very close eye on all those fittings to make sure they don't leak. All right, so rant time. Finally, after waiting nine days, I got the new bag of bolts from uh, the company that made the adapter plate for the transmission I'm using. This is the old bag. This is the new bag. They're the exact same bag. And I immediately noticed that it looked like they, they were they were the exact same bolts. So you take take a bolt from the new bag right here. You take a bolt from the old bag right here. And, well, I'm not gonna bother letting it focus. They're the exact same. They sent me, <laughs> they sent me the wrong bag of bolts again. This is just, it's, it's a joke. It's honestly ridiculous. I'm pretty, pretty freaking frustrated as you might uh, guess. I asked them to refund me my money, part of my money, and I'm gonna go just to Ace Hardware, get my own bolts. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but I assumed they were gonna send me the right bolts. Rant over, I'm gonna go spend a hundred bucks on bolts at Ace Hardware. Oh guys, look, the bolts are actually going in. out quite a bit so now the transmission should fit try it again here Ta-da! transmission is in it's ruining the lighting on my camera because it's just so shiny but yeah it, it's it's in so all the transmission bolts are in they're not all the way tightened down because we don't really need that quite yet um i need to make a transmission mount before i do that i'm gonna bolt the shifter on and connect the line just to make sure it all works Oh, uh, the first time like feeling the SR20 transmission in the truck. It's gonna be so sick. I also test fitted the RX7 seat, kind of. <laughs> Looks good. Ladies and gents, excuse the terrible lighting, but look, we have a shifter in our truck again. Now, it's a little bit too close to the seat. Actually, I might be able to scoot back a little bit. Hell yeah. So, I can get into second gear, third, fourth, fifth. The throws on this thing are so amazing. It's like. It's so short and notchy. The transmission has to come up a little bit. You can tell it is pretty low. Um, so with a bigger shift knob and the transmission up a little bit, the perfect location. I'll have to make some sort of plate to make it so there's not a giant hole. But hey, I can honestly like tighten my transmission bolts from up here. This is not the final mounting of the shifter. I have to unbolt it, put fluid in there, seal it up and then bolt it down. But I don't want to do that until the transmission is mounted. We also put the clutch line on and that worked. I went ahead and used this jack right here to lift up the back of the transmission until the entire transmission and engine assembly were nice and level, was nice and level with the frame. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is make some mounts. The mount will run from there to the transmission. As you can see those two bolts, to the other side. We're just doing a solid mount, no bushings or anything. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and try to modify the stock cross member to make it work. Modification number one is complete. Cut and clean. Now we have to strengthen the giant hole and uh, make a mount that works with the new transmission.
Heck yeah. This bolts onto the transmission. Like so. And now we're gonna bolt in that. Now we just have to combine the two with some welding. Reinforcement plates are welded in. I connected it, like blocked it off right there and filled the hole and all that. Now we just have to pull everything back off and weld it all the way up, give it a layer of paint, and then she's done. Dang, yeah, that thing looks so good in there. It's like yeah, it's meant it to be. It almost looks not. Yeah. All right, so that's all in there. I turned off the light so you can't see much, but this cross member trans mount looks awesome. I'm really happy with the result. Uh, probably messed up the paint a little bit by putting it on right after I painted it, but oh well, I'm impatient. It's, it's done. I want to drop it on the ground and feel this shifter yet again. <laughs> Don't push the clutch, right? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't really matter, but straight away. That that's it, guys. The truck is done in terms of what I have to do. It's done. It's done. Like it's so close to running. Depends on how long it takes the headers to get made and how long it takes to get wired up. Let's go ahead and cross some things off this list here. Got the radiator in, we got the new taillights, and we got the trans mount. So what we have to do is go ahead, uh, bleed the brakes and bleed the clutch, make sure that all that is working, and then Tomorrow we'll load it up on the trailer and send it off to a shop to have everything else done. I'm gonna go ahead and start bleeding the clutch now and then that's gonna be it. All right, we blood the clutch. Blood the clutch. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's pretty light. Hell yeah. We're gonna bleed the brakes now. Well guys, that is uh, that is it. Thank you to Christian for helping me bleed the clutch and the brakes. Yes, we bled the clutch and the brakes. They're both working great. Uh, we need to adjust both the clutch pedal and the brake pedal to get it to engage properly, but it's working enough to move it around. We're sending it off tomorrow to a shop to have the headers made, it wired up, and then it's ready to run. We'll have to fill it with fluids, um, do some vacuum lines, Tighten the motor mounts because those aren't tight. I should probably do that now, so I don't yeah, forget yeah, that. The trans mounts tight, but the motor mounts aren't. But um, we'll do all that, and then it'll be ready to run. So soon. Them. I'm really happy. The transmission feels so good. We definitely have a couple more small things, but all the big things are done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say the truck is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'm sorry it took so long for this to happen because of the stupid bolts and that stupid company. This is gonna be it for the truck for a week or two. Um, I'm not gonna post the video of having the headers made or it wired up until it's ready to start. So we'll work on the Miata a little bit. We'll work on Audrey's car a little bit. We'll work on Christian's car too, actually. 
We're gonna do an exhaust on this car and some other stuff. But yeah, you guys will see the drift truck again later. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video, dislike the video, do whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. So peace out. Bye-bye.